Anyway, it's your boy Juggle972 here, and we now have the Epic, the Wings of Time. So, now that we can go back to Antiquity, how about this? How about we start going around and start collecting some uh, treasures, too? Let's see, where do we land when we go to, uh, let's see, the, say, the Middle Ages, for instance? Let's take a look. Remember those little boxes that we couldn't open up? Let's go open up some boxes. How about that? I forgot about this. Come on, Toy Anime. Come on, Square Enix. Make this an anime, please. <laughs> Look. What's this? Epic is capable of this. I mean, it's a time. It is a time machine. Don't get any better than that. So why, might as well jump on the time machine, right? There is the magic cave too. I think there is a. I think there is a treasure here. Let me double check real quick. Yes, there is. A magic ring. Mm hmm. Magic scarf. You know what? Nadia needs this as well. She needs a bandit's bow. And I'll give it the stone helmet. Has fire damage. Let's see. Good, good, good. There we go. Alright, got a magic ring. And let's see what else we can find, too. Let's see what else we can nab for the time being. I'm gonna find the elders' houses real quick. Nope. Wrong house. Okay, here's the other house we need to be, to be at. What do we get here? A black vest. That right there absorbs shadow magic. White vest absorbs electricity. There is something that we need to get to. And remember, preparation is the key to everything. Oh, now that Magus has been defeated, check this out. Ozzy. Oh, great Ozzy. <laughs> yep. So... We'll get back to that soon. But first, let's go to these forest ruins real quick. A mid ether. And we need uh, um, uh, Nadia's pendant. Hmm. Life from the pendant. And little by little, you really got you really start to see you know what's available out now too. I love this tune. that another new the seal is broken I will give you the treasure crafted by the guru of reason himself yes indeed to your right as a weapon that will enhance your strength protective gear which will guard your life think well and choose whichever you need most 13,000 years ago was a very long time Belthazar I go now to you Interesting, right? Hang on. Let me check something real quick. Sorry about that. Now, what you get here, right side, I believe it's a, a swallow. Yes. Now, meaning bird, okay? You perverts. And this is a weapon for Chrono. 
Look at that speed. He gets fast and his strength is exponentially enhanced. Now the other one you get as a guardian helmet, but I think we need more weapons at this point too. So, now that we've got that, let us go to the Hecran Cave. Alrighty. Look at that. A barrier ring. Okay, and if you want though, you can also go up to uh, Doctor of the Future, you can actually go back to Protodome and start going all around uh, parts of the future and just start getting shit like that too, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and take off and just uh, get back to the Magic Kingdom, shall we? Actually, this is where it starts getting a little bit harder too because we must go to the Mountain of Woe. We cannot go to the Magic Kingdom yet. So let's uh, take a look at what's going on here at the Terror Cave. These are the Earthbound ones that we talked about in the previous episode. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we, we possessed no magical talents. I, I hate the way they, they say that we are possessed of no magical talents. It's more like you possess no magical talents. This is Al Giddy, the village of the Earthbound. Hmm. Wanna introduce some goods? Wanna introduce some goods? I've already got one that I need. A radiant blade. Oh, Jesus, that's expensive. Hang on. I can sell a couple of these mid ethers. I can sell the barrier sphere too. Make a little bit more of this one. Take a radiant blade. Jesus. Right, yeah, you know what? This is pretty good armor too. Okay, we know these ladies are going to definitely need some armor, too, so... Yeah, I probably should have saved a little bit more, too, so... But, yeah, eventually I'm going to go back to start, you know, fighting and getting some more kill. Alrighty. So, with this, though, Lin doesn't need the monster move right now. And he definitely doesn't need the uh, Her hero's badge anymore, so... Let's see. Let's give him the Guardian Bale. And we'll give her the Luminous Rope, too. She's good there. We're gonna need the Maga Blaster later. Okay, because we got plenty of grinding to do. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, the Village Elder, too. The Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possessed power with him exceedingly even that of Lady Shala. Lady Shala, but the Queen lost her mind and the young Lord grew to hate the power that and all the suffering that caused Lady Shala. He now hides it, denies it, and shuts out his thoughts. Denial, though, you know, it can make somebody bad. Only bad things can happen if, if, you, if you're in denial, you know what I'm saying? And this young boy here. The mud beast in is dangerous. We shouldn't play around here. <laughs> here, take a rest real quick, though, because we are going to the mud beast in. Okay, because we got a little bit of grinding to do. <laughs> What's going on? Spencer, he's right behind the wheel. Oh, he's just being. Yeah, he's just being. <laughs> That's our cat, Spencer, too. Let's see. Alrighty. This all connects the Mud Beast Den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. Groove Lion's voice opposition to the Queen's plan, so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Not to mention, he was also sealed there, too. Okay. Now to break the seal, we are en route to it. Let us get to it, shall we? We got a magic capsule, too. Okay, you know what? I might as well start using these capsules, too. Give her some speed. Yeah, he's gonna need some of that, too. Alright. Here come those beasts. Those big motherfuckers, too. They hit hard, too. 
Well, they can't hit hard. What a gore. Attack increased. Oh, yeah. That's why. Because every time you hit them, their attack increases. Yep. There we go. I sort of want to go. One down. Attack increased. Alright. How about this? It's extra. Okay. Alright. So far, so good. Okay, now's a good time to heal too, though, because coming up we've got a beast and an imp. Actually, we got two beasts and an imp to take out. Quite frankly, I don't want to go back and fight these guys again too, so let's go ahead and save real quick. I guess they respond in this version now. That's cool. You know, that's actually a really good way to do stuff, you know, because quite frankly, you can always, you know, grind a little bit. I did not know they can respawn on here, too. That's actually really cool. It's a good way to grind. Alrighty. Yeah, would you look at that? A fire and a blue, red, blue and red bees. Now <laughs> you're not getting through here. Yeah. Alright. Take care of this asshole real quick, because this asshole could be. Yeah, he's, double, he's got double techniques too. Let's it up real quick. Yeah, this guy is a he's got really good double techniques with his beast too. So don't go to sleep. Come on, brother, wake the fuck up already. No, wrong one. <sighs> See, that's one thing I've always hated about this game, though, when you try to aim while it's in the middle of moving. Yeah, zero damage. Oh yeah, and then there's that, too. I swore the red beast. The red beast first. What's really cool about this boss, though, all you gotta do is just kill the beast and then the uh, imp will die by himself. The mud will die by himself. Alright, let's see. I saw the red beast again. See, at this point, I probably should have brought uh, Luca with me, too. Okay. 
Not too bad, not too bad. Come on, man. stay alive, stay alive. Oh no. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be so ridiculous. Yep, oh, there we go. Now we got the blue beast. What's up? Okay. There we go. We can go turn around if you want, though. Sorry about that. Here we go. Definitely gonna haste him up though. Even though he's asleep though, he's gonna wake up hasting. There we go. I don't think uh I don't think lightning will hurt the blue beast though, but I don't remember. Yes, it does. Okay, here we go. Thunder may not sound all dinosaur though, but you know, much like Pokemon, if you're water, or if you're water based, then you might well in this case he's ice based. But you know what? In this case, make him a lightning run, how about that? Make sure everybody's fast. I thought I'm just gonna hit him with all I got. No need for magic, might as well hit him with just swords. Just gonna keep back striking. Yeah, he relies on his beats. You know, only 150 HP, that's not a lot. It's really not. Hey man, going after the biggest beast here too, man. Although I am for more parts to win, though. Come on, what do you got, what do you got? Put him out, put him out, put him out! Hold the board. Stay alive, stay alive. Hey, my, the white mage has to be healthy. And Chrono's down. God damn it. Oh boy, we really thinks he's got something clever. I hate fights like this that are just long and drawn out. There we go. He's just gonna run away. This little punch is gonna run away, so I might as well try to kill him quick. Every time you hit him, he actually just keeps healing himself. Let's see, let's see what he got, what he got. I don't think I've ever really killed the, uh, uh, the Mudhead before. I don't think I've ever have. Shit, okay. He gained a lot back there, too, so... Don't even try to tease me. Don't even try to tease me, you little punk. 
Don't even try to tease me. Yes! There we go. Got attack points. Level increase too. Alright. Now that that's been taken care of, we make our way to the Mountain of Woe. So in the next episode, we climb the Mountain of Woe and try to free the Guru, our friend Milkyar. Much love, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace!